Good evening students, this is Manas Patnayak, your friend and tutor and in today's session we are going to learn a very important technique to solve quartic equations. Please note it is quartic equations and not quadratic equations. Here, if we are dealing with an equation which has a degree of 4, right? So it was proposed by Mr. Ludwiko Ferrari and he has a very strong connection with Mr. Cardin. If you can remember, I, I have been discussing about the Cardin's method in my previous videos where we were solving cubic equations. Anyway, what is this in a nutshell? Here we go. That's a quartic equation which you guys and I together will be converting into two separate quadratic equations from quartic to quadratic. And once we get to this form, it is going to be very easy for you to solve quadratic equations. You can uh, either use the Sridharacharya formula or you can simply factorize it. Try to factorize it initially. If it does not, straight away go for Sridharacharya formula. That is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 is e upon 2a. Wonderful. Let's begin. <coughs> Here we go. Problem number one, Ferrari's method. And uh, these problems have been taken from the book Higher Engineering Mathematics by Dr. B. S. Greval. If you want to purchase it, the link is right there in the description. Go ahead. Anyway. What is the first thing to do? Take a look. Let me make a division after x cube. Shift all of these terms towards the RHS. So their signs are going to change like this. Done, sir. What is the next thing to do? x power 4 can be written as x square and its square. Sir, but why are you doing this? Your idea is, or the core philosophy of Ferrari's method is to convert both LHS and RHS into perfect squares. So let's see where we can reach. Okay, that's why I have done this. Secondly, uh, <coughs> this is A by the way. Okay, you'll understand all of these, all of the things. Don't worry. So, this 10x cube. Let's say 2 into A into B is equal to 10x cube. So, A is x square. And what about B, sir? We can work it out. Sir, 2, 5 is 10. And uh, done. So, B basically is equal to 5x. So, what we can write over here is 2 into this a that is x square in place of b we can write 5x and let me do it here we go now sir this is still not a perfect square what uh, we can observe is you are trying to convert this into something of this sort a plus minus b whole square and since there is a negative term negative 2 a b over here so what we are essentially trying to imply is you are going to have a perfect square of this form a minus b whole square but for that you need to add 5x square to the LHS. So if you're adding 5x square to the LHS, you have to add 5x and its square to the RHS as well. That is exactly what I'll do is a b and its square. Okay. Minus 2 a b. This is perfect. A minus b whole square. Let me implement it. X square minus 5x and its square. So the LHS has been converted perfectly into its square. Now what? <coughs> Think about the RHS. Focus on the RHS. What can you do? Okay. I'll be using this formula A plus B plus C whole square and its expansion. Take a look. What we can do is we can take 2C as common. Okay. And let me substitute C with lambda. I get an equation. Uh, I, I get something of this sort. An expression of this sort. Three terms are available. These are the three terms which are available to you. Okay. What's not available, sir? Sir, this is not available. Lambda square, 2 lambda, A plus B. Note, whenever you apply the Ferrari's technique, you have to introduce lambda. You have to do that. Okay? For converting the RHS into a perfect square, you have to do that. What is that value of lambda? We'll get to that. Don't worry. Add lambda square plus 2 lambda, A plus B, where A is equal to X square and B is equal to 5X. Please do it in the next step. Okay, where a is equal to x square and this b is 5x. Obviously negative, right? a, b plus lambda square plus 2 lambda x square minus 5x. I have applied this expressions over here. Done. Okay, sir. Now what? Now what you need to do is you need to simplify this. If you watch carefully, these are the x square terms. So x square can be taken as common. What remains is 2 lambda minus 10. You can do this. Okay, sir. Then you need to take this x as common. By the way, this is minus 10x lambda and this is plus 50x. So if you take x as common, 
you will have 50 minus 10 lambda. Similarly, these are the two remaining terms. Very easy, you just need to organize them in the proper way. Sir, the LHS has been uh, already been converted into a perfect square. Okay, but wait, there is a lambda which we have introduced. So, this will come into the picture once you get the value of it. Now, just focus on the RHS. Just focus on the RHS. For this to be a perfect square, discriminant that is b square minus 4ac must be 0. What are you saying, sir? Why should we believe you? <clears throat> just watch. If I write x minus 4 whole square, it is a perfect square of x minus 4. Okay, let me equate it to 0. What can I do? x square minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. Try to find the discriminant. Sir, discriminant is nothing but b square minus 4 ac and b over here happens to be negative 8 so negative 8 and its square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 you can clearly see this is 64 this is 64 this will be equal to 0 whenever you are dealing with perfect squares discriminant works out as 0 we are going to use the same method to find the value of lambda so this is b this is a this is c what are we going to do sir we are going to go for b square minus 4 ac let me write it down b square minus 4 into a into c and now you need to expand this 50 will become 2500 square 10 lambda will become 100 lambda square and minus 2 into 50 into 10 okay that means this much 1000 lambda with a negative sign obviously you also need to multiply these terms which are inside the brackets this is what you get now once you introduce 4 inside the bracket Obviously, it comes with a negative sign. All these signs are going to change. This minus minus plus will become plus plus minus. Okay. Obviously, multiplied with the 4. 4 to become 8. 4 into 48 becomes a 192. You know this. Fairly simple. Now, what, sir, let's rearrange the terms. Let us uh, keep the higher powers uh, to the left and then move our way to the right hand side with lower powers. So, minus 8 lambda cube. Done, sir. And then we've got. Uh, 100 lambda square plus 40 lambda square this is going to be 140 lambda square in the same fashion you can write down the remaining terms also this is very easy very basic okay now what <clears throat> sir we can divide both sides by minus 4 what will happen is this negative 8 lambda cube will convert uh, will become positive secondly this will be 2 lambda cube okay when you do that here we go so 4 into 3 is 12 2 left, 4, 5 is 20, so 35. I'm sure you have understood this. Positive will become negative. Okay. Here it is. Okay, so far so good. Now, now comes the part which is going to be very interesting. And I assume all of you, all of the students who are watching my video are BTEC students. And you are allowed to use this calculator, ACO calculator. Okay, or any calculator. You can find the value of lambda straight away using a calculator. Let me show you how. One sec. Shift 9 3 equal to equal to. Okay. Here it is. I'll tell you the technique. Don't worry. Go to mode. Use 5 for equation. It's a cubic equation. Press on 4. A is 2. B is minus 35. C is 202. And D is minus 385 okay hit enter this is the first value 7 second root is 11 by 2 third root is 5 okay sir the task of calculator is over now so i've written down all of these roots right some teachers might get pissed off if you straight away use the calculator some teachers are absolutely cool with it they don't worry since your main objective is to use or show them the ferrari's technique so they don't they don't bother whether you have used the uh, straight to use the calculator for solving this cubic equation to get to the value of lambda okay so for those teachers who don't appreciate this what you can do is you know now know that there are three values of lambda select the smallest positive integer we'll also be doing problems where you have to select a negative integer also but that is something different and i'll let you know how to solve that okay your first priority is smallest positive integer if there isn't any, go for the negative integer. No problem. Select positive 5. And straight away write that by inspection, I have found 
uh, that uh, once you plug in the value of lambda is 5, this turns out as 0. Therefore, lambda is equal to 5 is the root. Straight away write it. The remaining two roots can be found using the synthetic division. Okay. Use the synthetic division and uh, <coughs> you'll get a quadratic solve it. You'll get the value as 11 by 2 and 7. Right. Again, the process is going to become a bit long. I have not used it. What I suggested to straight away use your calculator to get to the values of lambda. What we are interested in is finding the roots of the quartic equation. Okay. Now, lambda is equal to 5. Okay. So, back to this equation. We are back to this equation. We actually used b square minus 4ac for RHS to get to the value of lambda. I'm going to plug in the value of lambda as 5 over here, here and here. Let me do that. Sir, 5, 2 is 10. 10 minus 10, 0. 10, 5 is 50. 50 minus 50 is 0. So, these two terms out of the picture. 5 square is 25. 25 minus 24 is 1. 1 can also be written as 1 square. <laughs> That's a perfect square now, isn't it? Okay. So, uh, this was the entire essence of the Ferrari's technique to convert the LHS and RHS into perfect square by introducing lambda now what's up <clears throat> bring one square to the lhs isn't this looking like a square minus b square where a is equal to x square minus 5x plus 5 and b is equal to 1 go for a minus b into a plus b just do it 5 minus 1 will become 4 and 5 plus 1 will become 6 these two quadratic equations can be solved very very easily what you need to do is this is 4 into x square that is 4x square split this minus 4x minus x similarly this is 6x square split this minus 2x minus 3x okay take x is common x minus 4 here minus 1 as common x minus 4 similarly take x as common x minus 2 here you can take um, minus 3 as common and x minus 2 very simple x minus 4 as common x minus 1 remains, x minus 2 is common, x minus 3 remains. So, here the roots are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, these are the four roots of the quartic equations which we have found out using the Ferrari's method. Isn't the method wonderful? Okay. Uh, the way of presenting the math is a bit different. I've used a different method of uh, showing how the, the, the this can be solved. Right. <coughs> how did you find this? Please let me know in the comments. And uh, one more thing, as I told you, if you stay with me right till the end of the video, there are going to be some very interesting facts that I'm going to tell you regarding Ludwig of Ferrari. Okay. 12 minutes, 55 seconds. So he began his career working for Cardano. Cardano is the man who is very famous for giving us a method for solving the cubic equation. Okay. He worked for Cardano as a servant initially. Cardano found, found out that he is very brilliant at math. So, uh, he started teaching him and also involving him in his works. In fact, both quadratic equation and cubic equation, there were a lot of, there was a lot of influence of Ferrari when it came to uh, proposing the, the, the entire process of solving the cubic equation. Okay, although we credit Cardano with it. When Cardano retired, from his post, he actually recommended Lord Vico Ferrari uh, <clears throat> uh, for his post. Then he was teaching there, after which, uh, at the age of 42, he retired. And uh, then he took a position of teaching in the University of Bologna. And then he was living there with, with his widow sister. Okay. He finally died. And I mean, this is uh, true or not, I don't know. This is legend basically that he died of arsenic poison in very mysterious circumstances so that was the entire life of lord vico ferrari he was brilliant at math let me tell you converting a quartic equation equation of degree four into two quadratic equations it is absolutely genius and you saw the entire method that i demonstrated so students how did you find this video if you find it to be very very helpful do like share the video with your friends with all your classmates so that they can also benefit and also subscribe to this channel so that you stay notified with all my latest updates thank you very much for watching take care and have a nice day